This is Reverend Don Lewis coming to you from beautiful Florida. And today our question comes to us from Casamondo. And Casamondo asks if I would consider computer programmers to be wizards. And I'm assuming that Casamondo is asking this because of my other commentary on the relationship between computer imagery and computer practice and metaphysics. My answer to this is that I think that it would be an equally appropriate question to ask, for example, about artists. Are artists wizards? And my answer is that computer programmers and artists are not inherently wizards, no. However, I think there's a big crossover between these things. And computer programming, as well as all of the different arts, deal in the creation of worlds that are different from that which we perceive with our ordinary senses. They take us into the astral, they take us into the realm of creation. Therefore, it's not at all unusual for these things to overlap with the conscious use of magic, or the semi-conscious use of magic. Of course, you must remember, I'm one of those who believes that magic is not a supernatural thing, but rather something that every person does in every moment that they're alive. When we study magic, we're merely learning to take conscious control of what is a natural phenomenon. And so many people, I believe, practice magic all the time without any conscious knowledge of it. And when they are involved in things like computer programming or any of the arts, I think that it often assumes a much greater proportion in what they're doing. So do I think that computer programmers are wizards? No, not inherently. Do I think that there are a lot of wizards who are computer programmers and a lot of computer programmers who are wizards? Well, yes, I would say that. And do I think that merely because of what it is, it often crosses over into magic. And my answer is yes, I actually do believe that, and I think that the computer sciences are doing a great deal to further the goal of spirit, which is the integration of the totality of spirit into matter, the expression of the full nature of spirit in matter. And I think that the computer sciences are going to do a great deal to fulfill that spiritual goal. Now, I will also say that anyone who works with any kind of creation is certainly in a sense a wizard or a magic user or however you want to put it. But that doesn't mean that people in particular uh, professions are inherently wizards. I think that you can be an artist who never touches on any kind of manipulation of reality and I think you can be a computer programmer in the same way, but I think that in very many cases it is a manipulation of reality, whether you're even aware that it is or not. And that, of course, is magic. Again, we all do that in every moment of our lives, but usually it's far removed from our consciousness. And I think that people who practice certain disciplines, such as computer programming or visual or written arts, are often a little bit closer to being conscious of this than others. And I think that often people who consciously practice magic will be found in those fields. And I don't think it's any great coincidence that so many of the things that we see in computers today seem to reflect metaphysical ideas and theology. I think that part of this is simply the nature of reality, but I think there's also, again, a lot of people involved on uh, both the magical and the technical side who overlap. So those would be my thoughts on the matter. I hope you find them helpful. And until next time, may you blessed be. Pray for peace. Pray for love. Pray for stability. Pray for the nation where you live. Pray for the world. Hello, this is Reverend Don Lewis, and did you know that I'm also a psychic reader? For over 30 years, I have been a psychic reader specializing in tarot and clairvoyance, and if you would like a reading with me, you can set one up, either by phone or by email, by contacting me at donlewishp at aol.com. And until next time, may you blessed be.